a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, John Riccatello and Unity and the um, the 300 IQ quote that he gave uh, when it came to developers and monetization. Uh, we also talked about that they're going to merge with a company called Iron Source, which had a very dubious and uh, checkered past. Well, it looks like another uh, company is looking to outright purchase Unity. And that site, and that is called Applovin, which is a terrible fucking name, by the way. I just <laughs> want to add that. Um, yeah, so they're looking to purchase Unity. And if they do succeed in doing so, that would invalidate the merger between Unity and Iron Source. So then Applovin would pretty much control have controlling stake of Unity. I know you have a lot more information about this than I do. So why don't you go ahead and talk about. Uh, what your feelings are when it comes to app loving looking to acquire unity yeah um as far as things go for anyone who needs a reminder um iron source uh the iron source deal was um to the price of 4.4 billion dollars yes this app loving deal is going to be at a whopping 17.5 billion dollars oh so that'll go through (laughs) yeah so this is four times the asking price for uh for the iron source deal yeah and uh, granted app loving isn't as terrible as uh, um as iron source but they're still uh, they're still pretty pretty bad looking because um they are a company that focuses on um market analysis monetization analysis and just um doing app publishing via mobile advertising and just uh they've got they've got some things that are really really invasive so just while this deal is not as bad as iron source who iron source has been known to make some just outright malicious malicious apps that masquerade themselves as doing antivirus anti-spyware sort of stuff but just filling your phone or your system full of advertisements Mm. so granted this is a little bit better than than iron source but just um app loving is still pretty bad uh, as far as things go and it just looks like they're they're going really hard on this whole we need to be able to analyze what um uh, what unity users are playing and all this other stuff so yeah just i just don't like this mostly from sort of a computer security standpoint yeah so okay um obviously if have loving is gonna give four times the amount that iron sources get or or, or uh, iron source was really wasn't a purchase it was a merger right so yeah. um I see this ha- pretty much happening, and it'll probably take a year, and then it will be finalized. I guess the only question I really have on this is, what does this mean for the Unity platform? Is this going to be a like at what what is App Loving specifically? Is it a is it just an app ha- like what it what is the business model itself? Essentially, they're a iron source competitor so they they do just analysis of what their users are doing mm-hmm. um what uh, what apps that they're playing with on their phone okay. and 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 all sorts of stuff so essentially yeah they're they're uh, they're still in the same business as iron source just okay in sort of a different way okay so basically this seems like a, a, it seems like if you're gonna have a multi-billion dollar business and and you want these businesses to coexist purchasing one of them is probably a good move because not only are you going to have the the app structure the, the structure to create these apps that will uh, feed into your data collection you're going to also have all the information you need to make those things more efficiently so yeah i mean that in itself makes sense what is the reputation of Unity itself? I think the 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 platform itself is good. I, I've heard uh, it, it does have kind of a bad reputation with some gamers as being chintzy and cheap, which is not a fair is not fair at all. But yeah, I don't I don't see this being something that 
unless people really want to go into a deep rabbit hole about it, that they're going to think this is a, a terrible thing that Unity is being bought off. And this actually might help Unity actually improve its tools and its uh, and its platform. So, hey, that's a good thing too. I'm just, um, I, I guess, I guess just because of what App Lovin does, you're you're kind of miffed at, at, at this sale. Is that what this is? Yeah, because it just seems like they want to go into sort of invasive. Um, Invasive market and usage uh, analytics mm -hmm. and just that for me gets into the thorny realm of privacy. Oh yeah, but, um, that's that's personally my thought on it. But again, just um, my opinion is more from the background of of um, what I do for my day job, which is right. um, just IT and information security. Right. I mean, this was just announced. Uh, we're nowhere near at the point where this is going to get finalized. So yeah. I mean, if this ends up being, a, I would say for developers, this might be nothing but a good thing for you. But yeah, I mean, if this is a shady company and they start using information from all these apps in a malicious way, that, that could be terrible. But we can't do anything about it now until we find it. So I, yeah, that sucks. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, at this point, nothing much to talk about with this. It, it's just that it's happening. And it will likely to happen. And yeah, could this... the Iron Source contract is definitely going to be invalidated because the shareholders in Unity are going to say, "No, you got to cancel that deal, and you got to go for this one because big numbers go big." <laughs> yeah. Uh, Epic Games, the the ones that do uh, that do the Unreal Engine. What is what is their worth? I'll, let me find out real quick. Um. As of 2025.1 billion. Oh nope, I'm wrong. Last funding round in 2021, 28.7 billion. Um, huh. My next question was going to be whether they would get bought. I don't see that happening. <laughs> I don't see any company doing that. But uh, especially since they have a store that they're trying to cultivate. So yeah, uh, it could look like that. Unity might become a bigger uh, competitor to uh, to Epic, I guess, in the long in, in in the short term, I guess. So, anything more to add? Uh, no, just um, I'll be kind of curious on how this deal finalizes, especially um, just once we find out a little bit more on App Lovin and just what exactly they're all about. 